I had no way to ever try to find Greta. I didn't even know where she was born, what year she was born. I didn't know anything. We have a cousin, Laura, who has been looking for her birth father for 30 years. And she apparently had run across this DNA database website called 23andMe. She got a match, but it was not a paternal match. It was a first cousin match. The next thing I know, I get an email from Laura Oliver, and I open it up and she says, Hi Greta, my name is Laura Oliver, and it looks like we're first cousins. At that point she told me, she said, you know, first let me tell you, your mom died last year. And I was afraid of something like that, but you know, my heart sank. And uh, she said that you have a living sister. And she said her name is Stacy Arena, and she's so beautiful, is what she told me. I think we both want to know everything. You know, there's the, the you know, what's happened to, in your life the last 51 years. I want to know all of it, but I also want to know trivial things. You know, what's your favorite color? What I found was, as I've gotten to know them, is that we have a lot of similarities that have to be drawn back to genetics. And that's the thing that surprises me, is the role that genes play here. Even when you're, you're, you have great distances between you and you have not affected each other's lives in any way, we still have followed a, some sort of parallel mm -hmm. in many ways. If it weren't for 23andMe, this never would have happened. Mm -hmm. I had no way to find out even where she was born, when she was born. If you're an adoptee or anyone looking for a biological family, you have to do this. Which is why we are here, mm -hmm. is to let everyone know that if it weren't for 23andMe, this would not be happening. Mm -hmm. I will forever be indebted to 23andMe yep. I, there for the rest of my life.